to fight Leo Santa Cruz back in February. He suffered an ankle sprain. Now he's featured in even a bigger platform. He's had a knockout victory in his return from his injury. Originally from Morelia in Mexico and raised in Houston, he's had a steady climb up the rankings to deserve this shot. He'll be making his first attempt at a world title. His record, 24 wins, two losses with 12 knockouts. He's a world-ranked super featherweight contender. How about a hand of welcome to Miguel Flores. Miguel, come on up and say a few words, or I guess you can stay where you are with your microphone there. Hey guys, just excited, excited to be here. Um, they say there's no, no second chances in life, but uh, for me there is, because I have a great team, Louis the Cuba Jr., my whole team back at home. And some things are just meant to happen, and I guess uh, the fight myself with Leo is just something that's meant to happen. You know, a lot of people are mad about it, but after the fight, after y'all get a good, exciting fight, y'all gonna wanna see a rematch just like these two heavyweight guys. Um, I'm excited for it. Uh, like I said, things happen for a reason, and this is a bigger stage, a bigger bigger scenery. What better way to, to become a champion than it is in, in Las Vegas at the MGM? I'm excited. I know Leo's a professional. I know uh, he's fully focused on me, and that's only going to produce a great, great fight for you, for you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miguel. We'll get a chance to hear more from him in our Q&A session. And his opponent has been a dominant force in the featherweight division for the past four years. He'll be making his super featherweight de debut on November the 23rd. He'll be seeking his fourth weight division world championship. His record, 36 wins, one loss, one draw with 19 knockouts. He's truly one of the greats in boxing today. A veteran of 16 world title appearances. He's the three division world champion and the current WBA featherweight champion of the world, El Terremoto, Leo Santa Cruz. Hello, Hello to everyone. Uh, I'm very happy and I'm excited to be here uh, to be given this opportunity to become a being able to become a four division world champion. My goal when I uh, began boxing was just to become a world champion. And now I've been able to do it three times. And now being able to try to do it for four times, it's been you know, a bigger dream. I'm happy, you know, I want to thank the WBA. I want to thank my manager, Al Heyman, uh, Fox, you know, everybody, all the people, all the fans that got me to this place. And you know, like Miguel Flores said, yeah, there's people that are mad, that are upset because uh, they think he's not a worthy opponent. But you know, Miguel Flores is a, you know, a tough fighter. I don't underestimate him, like I said before. Uh, I know it's gonna be a hard fight in the first fight um, when we were gonna fight, but he hurt his ankle. And now this fight, he's gonna come with everything because this is the opportunity of his lifetime to become a world champion at 130. And you know, I, I know it's gonna be a tough fight, hard fight, but you know, what's more important is that we're gonna give the fans a great fight and that will matter. And to be a you know the coming event for Wilder, or he, you know Wilder is a great explosive fighter. He always comes to be at a show, and he always gives it. And he surprises. He comes. He's, he's not called a bomber for no, for no reason. He always comes and surprises. <coughs> he could knock you in the first round, second round, any round. So you know I know he's gonna give a great fight. And my job is to go out there and you know try to do a better fight than him. I know it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna try my best to do that. Hopefully we give a great fight because, you know, it's yeah, a great nice. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Leo Santa Cruz. I want to bring to your attention our Fox Sports BBC pay-per-view event. is a promotion of Bomb Squad Promotions, along with TGB Promotions and Mayweather Promotions. Tom Brown from TGB will be available for questions afterwards as well, as well as Leonard Ellerby from Mayweather Promotions. Teaming up with Bomb Squad is going to be a great night of action. We also want to bring to your attention that tickets are available online, available at mgmbrand.com along with axs.com as well. Now let's meet our fighters in the main event of the evening. Let's hear from them. It's the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World, Wilder versus Ortiz, number two, a rematch the world has been waiting for. Before the fight, the first time, the fans were interested in watching. During the fight, even more interested, and afterwards, we want to see them meet up in the ring again. First, I introduce to you the challenger. He gave Deontay Wilder one of his toughest fights last year. 
With a record of 31 wins and only one defeat, he has 26 wins coming by way of knockout. Known for his vicious knockout power, his crafty southpaw style, and his very quick hands, he is one of the most feared and avoided fighters in the heavyweight division. He's had three straight wins since his loss with Deontay Wilder, originally from Cuba, now fighting out of Miami. Miami. Here is the fearsome world-ranked heavyweight contender, Luis King Kong Ortiz. Bueno, eh, tengo que darle las gracias a, a Dios por esta oportunidad, a Walden, a Jaime. Eh, no, no queda más que decir que, que todo está en el destino. Eh, es mi segunda oportunidad. First, I want to thank God and, and Al Heyman and, and Deontay for this opportunity again. Um, really don't have a lot to say. I haven't been always a, a, a man for many words. But uh, you know the, the opportunity is here and, and it's destined. So so here we go. Vengo a guerrear como como un guerrero que 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 siempre he sido a morirme en el ring como siempre he dado todo de mí en el cuello. He says that uh, a warrior doesn't abandon his mission. His mission has been to become world champion. He's ready to die in the ring if need be. And um, and and he's trained very very hard since the defeat, and it, it'll culminate November 23rd. Okay, but como guerrero que somos ante todo quiero eh, preguntarle a, a Dionti eh, cómo cómo está su hija, su familia. Before anything, he wants to make sure that, that you know he wants to ask Dionti how's your family, your daughter most most importantly. Y nada, eh, lo que queda por decir es que que noviembre 23. Eh, eh, no va a ser lo mismo que, que pasó la vez pasada. Esta vez vengo más preparado, mi mente está más explosiva, vengo más agresivo, eh, todo. He says that November 23rd, it, it won't make the same mistake that he made on the last fight. He's coming more prepared, more aggressive, um, you know, with, with more of everything. There's just more is the, is the key factor here. Hey, yo no soy hombre de... de, de de estar a, hablando tanto eh, yo solo espero de la noche de noviembre 23 para, para hacer mi trabajo que es por si que es lo que yo sé hacer He's, you know hopes you know that November 23rd gets here uh, quicker than later because he's ready to step in the ring and do the job thank you very much sorry Thank you very much. A uh, man of few words, he speaks volumes with his fists in the ring every time he steps into the squared circle. And now we introduce his opponent, the defending world champion. In fact, the longest reigning and most active heavyweight champion in boxing today. A tremendous record of 41 wins, no losses. One draw with 40 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the most feared single punch knockout artist in boxing. He'll be making the 10th defense of his title just shy of five years ago from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. He is the Olympic bronze medalist representing the United States and the defending and undefeated WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber Deontay Wilder. Thank you so much. You said that's okay. <laughs> Sorry for, my, uh, for being so late. Every time I come here, I forget how, we're, how bad traffic is here. You know, but uh, thank God we're here. I just want to, you know, thank God here we go again. Wilder versus Ortiz, too. And the only way it could be a two, it had to be a, a, a exciting, thrill fight, number one. You know, the first time I met him in the ring, that night of that fight, you know, it was amazing. It was an amazing experience to be able to go up against such a, a skillful fighter. You know, to have his pedigree, the background that he had as an amateur. To have the pedigree, I'm sorry, to have the pedigree and the background that he had as an amateur, you know, over 300 fights and then to come in, you know, I've only had 35 amateur bouts, period, and then coming into the, you know, the professional rankings, just making my way up. And to be able to fight him with so much experience on that night of the fight, you know, I was like, 
It was an honor to be able to face him more than it was an honor for him to face me. Because it was gonna show me, this was a test for me, it was gonna show me where my skill level was in the heavyweight division especially, you know. He was the booking man for a reason. To this day, they don't fight him for a reason. You know, in this in this sport, you know, we all we, we all know what it's about. I speak it all the time. I let you know. I keep you on on game all the time about this sport. You know, in my eyes, there's nothing gentlemen about it. Don't mistake it there. Please, especially when it comes to me, in certain aspects of my life, in certain situations, yes, I will be a gentleman. But when it comes to this box, my mind ain't accept that way. I tell you each and every time that my words is very powerful, what I speak. And it's not a coincidence that things that I say come to pass. If not now, then later. But it's always on time. It may not come when I want it, but it's always on time. And to be able to have that honor to fight him again when these guys, especially the top ten, they'll say he old. They won't get in there and fight this old man. You have many guys that have had opportunities to have a chance at me, to be mandatory. But all they have to do is face Luis, Luis Ortiz. But the, but the excuse is what he's old. And in my eyes, I'm like, shit, he in the sport. We signed up for it to beat his old ass then. But they never give them the opportunity because they know what the real is. For me, I'm the best in the world. I've said it before and I said it again, I'm the best in the world and I believe in that. I proved so many people wrong. And I still have to do it, still. And I probably have to do it for the rest of my life, but that's okay. They give me the adrenaline, they give me the motivation, the will. Because all my life I had to prove people wrong. <laughs> but today I smile with a heart filled with happiness, with a mind filled with, with, with sight, sighting things for the future, with a soul that's so free. I tell people I know who I am, I know what I stand for, I know what I represent. You can't miss, you can't, you can't, you, you, you can't, you can't detour my mind. My mind cannot be brainwashed. And for that reason, I am who I am, you know. People have grown with me. They had to get used to certain things to see if it's really an act or is it really him. But over time, people have seen that I've been the same way from the beginning. They ain't gonna change. All the glamour, the glory, the fame, and the fortune don't change who I am as a person. All this is materialistic. It look good at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, when you go home, you must come off, you know. And now, I have an opportunity to have another bond with this man, this man that no one wants to face, so I feel it's my duty as a champion to bless these fighters because people on the outside looking in, they don't understand what we go through as fighters, what we do. I say it all the time, and I'll forever say it, old press conference, we risk our lives for you guys' entertainments. Everything we have, we love because we like, damn, our hands got this. Risking, but what price we had to pay to get this? <laughs> what price we have to pay each and every time? It's our life. And it ain't nothing like going to work you have to put your life on the line for. Many won't do it. That's why I take this very serious. And to be able to give him an opportunity to do it again, when those that won't give it to him, I do it a hundred times over and over again because when I pulled him that first time, it really was a bond that I had for him with this daughter and my daughter. I seen two loving fathers on the night that had to battle out, that had to go to war, that had to put their life on the line for their family. <laughs> and when you put your life on the line for your family, man, it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no better feeling to go to war with another gladiator. You know, like he said, we're willing to die in the ring. How harsh that is. We're willing to die in the ring. How many people say they're willing to die for that job? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we are, because we're passionate about it. We love it, we want to give y'all the best fight possible. And we will do that because Deontay Wilder never leaves y'all without a doubt 
of having a great time and excitement, meeting old friends while meeting new friends. Hey, we'll see the next wild to fight till we meet again. And I love the ones that never seen a boxing match before because I'm the first person to come and see. If you want to see the under, un, you want to see some an extraordinary, some exciting, something you've never seen before, maybe a body drop on the canvas, maybe do something, hey, let us know. But if you want to see excitement, this is the fight to be at. This is the fight to order, this is the fight to see. Y'all know the Bronze Bomber is back, Bomb Squad, and I can't wait. It's going to be amazing, like each and every last one of them, I can't wait. It's going to be exciting. On the court is booming. I got my man Leo sitting the field right next to this. My buddy right here. <laughs> so he's always exciting each and every time. You already know. We got hearts of the champions up here, each and every last one of us. And I can't wait. I am super excited for this. I'm super excited to be able to bless Ortiz again, to be able to support his family. It might be the last biggest payday that he get. Who knows? But we're going to make the best of it. We're going to be able to make the best of it. I promise you. If I have to. Promote it every day. Order it. Support it. You won't get your money worth. Guaranteed. You see what he did in the seventh round. Anything is possible. That let you know anything is possible. But I'm a true champion. America has a true champion. And then that one thing about a true champion that many people can love from a true champion. Out of all things, yeah, skills great. You know, talking a good game great. But there's one thing great about a champion, a true A champion that can walk it like he talking. And for me, I walk it just like I talk it, baby. So November the 23rd, I expect to see all you guys there. And if you can't make it, I expect you to order that box, baby, feel, baby. Because it's gonna be live, it's gonna be crunk. And I can't wait, God bless. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you very much for Deontay Wilder. Certainly there are so many things to respect about this champion, but truly he has never turned down an opportunity, never run away from a challenge. He's fought everyone and be always willing to find everyone. We look forward to November 23rd MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Fox Sports, BBC Pay Per View. Once again, reminding you that about is brought to you by Bomb Squad Promotions along with TGB Promotions and Mayweather Promotions. Tickets are available at mgmbrand.com and axs.com online as well. This time it is my pleasure to hand over the duties for their questions and answers to my colleague. Please welcome to the microphone, Ray Flores. Ray, take it away. You get a flighting at the MGM Grand. Uh, you're a Mexican descent fighting a fellow Mexican. Uh, so many greats have fought at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. That's where you want to go as a prize fighter. What does November 23rd mean to you? I think as a fighter coming up, you always have a few dreams. Probably one of them is to win your first fight by knockout. One of them is to obviously become world champion. Another one is to fight in Vegas. And I have the opportunity to become a world champion in Vegas. So what better way, you know, than, than that? Um, like I said before, it's just like things are getting set into place with me. When the first fight got canceled, I was mad at myself, mad at the world, mad at everything. But then little by little, I, I realized, hey, everything does happen for a reason. Um, everybody knows my brother passed away in the ring. And don't tell me I don't deserve something because I spent hours running with my brother. I spent hours in the gym. Don't tell me I don't deserve something. I know I deserve it and I'm gonna work my butt off to, to become world champion. Obviously, I have a great champion in front of me in Leo, but like I said, that's only gonna produce a great, great uh, uh, action-packed fight. Thank you very much, Miguel. Leo, for you, there haven't been a lot of Mexican fighters. It's the smallest of Mexican fighters who've been world champions in four divisions. November 23rd, you can join that list. Can you tell us about your mindset knowing that you can go ahead and add your name to such a rich history? Yeah, no, my mindset is, you know, I'm really motivated. Like, if it was my first world title, uh, being able to be, you know, a fourth division world champion is, you know, something big for me, really big. I could be remembered, you know, when I retired, I could be remembered as one of the best makers out there. And for me, that's my goal. That's my goal. That's my mentality right now. And I know I have a tough fight in front of me. I could be going for it. People, like I say, people might think that he's not a, 
a great fighter or not, nothing like that, but he deserved it, you know, he deserved it. Uh, he could become world champion that night. And, you know, I'm just very happy to go out there and, you know, give the fans a great fight and just for this opportunity that has been given to me and to be able to become fourth division world champion. That was my main goal to do that and then, you know, the big fight for me. Thank you very much, Leo. For Luis, can you tell us about what you learned about the champion to my right, Deontay Wilder, Luis, in that first matchup? Que si le puede decir al público que tú aprendiste la primera pelea con Deontay en la primera pelea. Ah, fueron eh, eh, cosas que, que, que pasaron, que debían de pasar y nada, no hay excusa, no, 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 no tengo excusa. Things that took place in the first fight on his behalf um, obviously just happened and, and uh, he has no excuse yeah. for... Pasó lo mismo que, 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 que yo le dije a él que uno de nosotros dos nunca íbamos a llegar a los dos eso. He, he said that to, to the first part is that there's no excuse and, and no reason for, you know, uh, him not winning the fight. Obviously just it is what it is. Deontay won the fight um, and he knew that one of us was, was going to get knocked out and he had said that no one it's not going 12 rounds and has the same sentiment for the rematch it's not going to go 12 rounds Deontay we saw you face some adversity in that first fight in the seventh round can you go ahead and explain to us what you learned about yourself in that matchup as you went out and finished the show in grand fashion as you always do but what did you learn about yourself in that first fight it, it wasn't nothing that i really learned about myself it was something that i was you know i had confirmation about you know already you know what i mean it's just it's just one of those things that you know what you can do you believe in yourself you speak you you, you speak it too highly like I tell people that I speak, I feel it inside of my heart, like, I feel it. It's almost like somebody's like, I don't know what's going to happen because I feel it. It's like those feelings like you know something's going to happen. But I'm just so strong with my intuition myself that I understand it. So when I feel that, you know, the, the, the feeling is everything. You know, so it wasn't like I was like proving myself. It was like I just needed that moment in time to prove to others. See, for me, it's like proving others wrong. I don't have no doubt in myself. Or oh, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have made it as far as I made. I'm 41 and over, 40 years old. I don't even count that drug because I knocked that fool out. He got, he got blessed by the referee. Talking about Tyson Fury here at Staples Center. I'm going December, to with that. I've seen him many, many times. He had faith in two. But everything that I have, I, I know what I can do. It's just a point in time, and I need the right opponent to, to prove everything. This man was the booker man. He wasn't called the booker man for no reason. They didn't want to fight him. They still don't want to do it now. And even when I had to go in this fight, I had to say very cautious and clear. Look at him. He's in shape. Look at him. I know he's been training. I got people in Miami. A lot of them. They've been running on the highway and stuff. Months before this. He's taking it very serious. As well as I. And I can't wait. I can feel it. It's going to be a crazy fight. This is your second rematch that you had. Your first one, you went ahead, your first fight that you had, you went ahead and you defeated Burmese the Verde, you finished him off when you guys had the rematch in unbelievable fashion. Are you looking to do the same against Luis Ortiz to make it a more convincing victory to prove those that may say, well, he got, you know, the blessing of the referee in the seventh round to make it more definitive? Nah, the only, 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 people, only way people ran away with that narrative because of Showtime commentary, comment, commentary um, Paul and my life, you know. When people do comment, when do, people do commentary, people that don't understand boxing that's on the outside of the end only can hear they so-called experts and stuff. So it can be a narrative painted, you know, even with the lead up with, with Fairless Scoreboard keeping and stuff. Things can be painted in people's minds. They're like, oh, this must be really is what it is. What, what's a two second? Three seconds, that ain't no fucking break. Excuse my language, but I'm passionate. Okay. That's not a break. I don't when you when you when you when you a warrior, that's what kind of break is that? That's that's like taking a deep breath when you when somebody in their life, he took his last breath. I ain't taking my last breath. I continued on as a champion. So that wasn't no break at all. And we was already warned that that would, that would happen if if certain things occurred. That wasn't had nothing to do with me nor him. 
you know, if anything. So, you know, but it was painted out there, put it in people's heads. So I want to correct my wrongs into rights, and this is why we're here. Luis, what are you doing, if anything, are you doing anything differently as you prepare for November 23rd against the Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder? Que si estás haciendo o vas a hacer algo diferente en la preparación para la segunda pelea de que no hiciste en la primera pelea. Yo digo que todo, eh, uno se prepara y cuando llega a, 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 al ring, eh, todo se, se dificulta, todo cambia. Eh, todo está en la mente. Eh, prepararme más y prepararme más y prepararme más y prepararme más. Dice que hacemos, sí, hacemos preparación y estamos planeando. Corrections and errors that were made in the in the first fight, um, you know whether there were emotional errors or physical errors. Um, and but once you get in the ring, you know it, it's all bets are off, and, and and it is what it is, and it's, it's the better man is going to win. But yes, he is preparing, 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 preparing. So um, you know, for those that think that he's you know too old and shouldn't be here, uh, you know, stay tuned, November twenty third. Deontay, you have one of the highest, if not the highest, knockout percentage in boxing right now. How much better do you feel you can get? And how much have you grown since that fight with Luis Ortiz the first time? I mean, the sky's the limit to my growth. You know, each and every year I want to be better than I am this year, you know. And that, that's until the day I die, you know. I always want to know new things. That's why they say you can, you, you can teach the old dog new tricks. You know what I mean? At least that's what I feel. You know, you're never too old to learn things. And if I stop learning this sport, then I don't need to be in it. You know, it, it, it becomes, I don't want to be in this sport because I'm just, my whole point of view is just, just to make money. I want to make money and I want to enjoy doing what I love to do. And that's, that's you know, show everybody my craft. You know, so I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. I, I cannot wait. You guys know, y'all have seen me many times in my interview. Must see TV. Must see TV. I'm the type of fight that you're gonna be on. You're gonna you're gonna sit on the edge of the seat, or you're gonna stand up the whole time, because that's what it's like when I bring it. Y'all know when I bring it, I'm gonna bring it. There's no question to ask with me. You don't have to guess with D. I'm bringing it like I did the first time. I'm gonna bring it the second time, and this time it's gonna be worse than the first time. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. There is nothing more exciting than the heavyweight championship of the world. And we have it November 23rd on Fox Sports pay-per-view. Thank you to the champion, Deontay Wilder. Thank you to the challenge, Luis Ortiz. We got a photo today of Santa Cruz. We will pull us off the fight. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.